With the TV series on hiatus, Doctor Who magazine's comic strip is in near-terminal decline. In a kill-or-cure move, the magazine decides to resuscitate a lot of the old Doctors, and although this would eventually result in cure, Food for Thought is one of two strips that unfortunately nearly pushes it towards the kill end of things. What's bizarre about this is it's written by Nicholas Briggs and it's edited by Gary Russell, who you think would know a lot better by now. But no, they decide to do a first Doctor strip that's set... Oh, when is it set? This is the first Dr. Ben and Polly. There isn't actually a gap on TV that these stories fit into, and certainly there isn't a long gap, which is what the dialogue in this strip implies. Speaking of the dialogue, pretty much every time the first Doctor opens his mouth, they try and cram in as much Hartnellism as possible, rather than just letting him speak normally. My feeling is that this would work better as a second Doctor story, but at the end of the day, it is a chance for us to get more Ben and Polly, and let's face it, that has to be a good thing. Plus, Polly is even occasionally recognisable. Thank you.